All right, let's talk about smart kids and drugs because it turns out that if you're doing drugs as a kid, you're probably going to be smarter in real life. Uh, studies show a correlation between high childhood IQs and getting high. We're talking about weed here. Yes. Uh, using data from the 1958 National Child Development Study, researchers published a report last year that found that children who have higher IQs were more likely to use illegal drugs later in life. Again, I believe this was mostly about weed. Um, does this surprise you guys at all? It seems to me that, uh, oh, I know a lot, I, I think I know some smart people and I know a lot of people that smoke you. weed Thank and you. you know, no, what are we talking about? No, if you're about smart that? and you're intelligent, also smart, why don't I use the same word twice? No, uh, you're going to be curious. Not everybody who's uh, brilliant like me, right. uh, but no, I mean, I think many people who are curious at one point want to, uh, uh, you know, do something to get the juices flowing. Yeah. Pot's the greatest drug in the world, except when I fill out my life insurance policy. But it is the greatest then, drug. Then it's completely, I've never heard of never it. Even I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> The character of Andy Kindler might know. Right. right. And I it. do some sweet damage at Hugo's Tacos when I'm high. Yeah. Uh, beautiful damage. Uh, then the tacos uh, oh my God, they... I'm keeping them in business for at least another four years. But I think you're right. I think that it, it, a lot of really smart kids feel understimulated. They get yeah. bored in school. They're bored by their peers because they just, they don't connect with them like they'd like to because they're, they're not on the same IQ level. So they look for other ways to self-medicate, other ways to feel stimulated and they get high. Well, yeah. and also alcohol to me. Well, I don't drink because I'm uh, I have a Jewish uh, alcohol syndrome. Yeah. I just get sleepy. Yeah. So I don't think alcohol for most people is stimulate you like your mind. Mm -hmm. right. So I think things like pot are different because they actually get you thinking or eating. Right, so is this one of those things where it shows how stupid our war on drugs is that we lump oh, weed boy, in, yeah. we lump yes. weed in with yes. all these other hard drugs when in fact, and then people see people stoned and not really doing anything evil and then you don't, kids can't make the connection that there's a difference between drugs. So they see that weed is kind of cool and that, you know, these other drugs are probably... Kids know anyway, and all this stuff, you know, a lot of that stuff was political too because, you know, hippies smoke pot, so it, it, was, it was in the interest of the government to, oh, you know, to make those type of things even more illegal. Well, yeah. I grew up uh, at the time with the best, um, you know, after school specials yeah. and growing pains with the coke party. Saw and, that episode, oh, yeah, and, and the weed. Boner and stayed at the party. Boner stayed <laughs> at the party. Yeah. And Ooh. then they were like, well, whatever, it's my parents' coke, and it was like to be continued, and there's no music at the end of the credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there were so many of these sitcoms that villainized uh, weed, and I was in Just Say No Club and Dare and I never got it because weed's pretty great. Right. It's a victimless drug. But that's, and it's that's not the victim, point. It's not a drug. I mean, it's not victimless. Wait, Go ahead, sorry. Wait, what do you mean it's not victimless? I mean, it's, not, it's, it's, it's something not that's, it's, uh, it, more and more information is coming out that says it's very, not that people can be addicted to anything, right. yeah. but, and some people just do get spaced out, but it's, it, you know, it's, it's helpful in, uh, it, not just in chemotherapy, it's supposed to, in many ways, I think it's actually going to be found to be positive for the body. Yeah. Well, did you guys see this the last week? Dr. Sanjay Gupta on I CNN that, had a yeah. mea culpa because after all this time of railing against weed, he finally oh, is... Was he railing against weed? Yeah, he's, he's been against yeah. even medicinal marijuana, yeah. and he finally now did this special saying... He apologized. He actually said, I'm sorry, and, for, and now he's pro-weed. Right, and for a country, and especially a state that is so woefully underwater when it comes to money, why isn't it just a recreational thing that we can legalize? Tax the shit out of it. Which we don't state? care. We'll about, buy it anyway. About this state, right? California? Yes. Yeah, but you don't want to make the tax too high because then the black market kicks in. I just have to check with Nancy Snyderman and all this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dr. Nancy Snyderman, because she's on NBC and she doesn't know anything. Yeah. Should we not listen? Are you saying we shouldn't listen to uh, doctors on television? They're the worst. Our, They're absolutely yeah. the worst. I, I like Robert Bazell, but uh, he's one of my favorite ones. He does. He has a problem with the hands. He's always like, blah, blah, blah. But all these people who say, like, every two years ago, salt's terrible for right. you, and then uh, then they find out salt is not bad for you. Right. And, and all these people are the, the conventional wisdom junkies. Right. That's all they do is tell you what the conventional wisdom. Yeah. Is. I'm glad. I'm glad Sanjay Gupta is coming around. Yeah. That's what I say. But partly, I was thinking that Sanjay's thing is he probably knew this all along, but three years ago. It wasn't cool to say you're down with weed. Now he sees the times changing, so CNN's like, "Hey, Gupta, let's yeah. uh, let's." Come I just like that they're yeah. saying Gupta. Yeah. Get in hey, here for a hey, second. Gupta, let's uh, come around on the weed thing, don't you think? I mean, but I think maybe he didn't know. He wasn't even knew enough about it because he doesn't seem like a guy who got high. Got Gupta. Yeah. So maybe it's really that's something he didn't pay attention to. So he bought the the line right. on Man, it. You really think those CNN guys aren't just? You don't think Wolf Blitzer's taking a Blazing. bong hit? Oh, with, I uh, no, I do think Wolf Blitzer's taking a lot of bong hits. He has hits. to. He's oh, too mean. He's mean on, on the camera. Yeah. He's in the situation room. He's under you a can't pl play around there. Yeah.
yeah, that's a lot of pressure to be at work in a place called the Situation Room. But that's a whole other thing. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Thank Andy Kindler. Thank Gina Grad. Subscribe. It's down there. I should have said it 20 other times. Now get out there and have sex. Do some drugs. Pay attention to Egypt. Watch Al Jazeera. <laughs> and drink all. Coke. Drink, drink Coke. Oh, drink Coke. And there was one more. What was the other one? Uh, uh, Consume a lot of aspartame. Oh, and if you're going into comedy, you're going to make a boatload of dough. Oh, right. Okay, subscribe. We'll do it again next week. Thanks.